Hey guys, this is Josh from Leaf Trading Cards joining you for another informational video as we have started posting. Uh, this one is uh, going to be about autographs and how you would want to get cards signed, the difference between pens, and that sort of thing. So most people, when they go to get something autographed, a lot of times they'll bring a Sharpie. Uh, which is, there's nothing wrong with that at all. The card, the pen we use for all of our autographs is called a Stadler, uh, which you should be able to buy these off of Amazon. Now these are really good for signing stickers, which is what the majority of our stuff is, but they also sign on card as well. Uh, an example of a sticker autograph with a Stadler is, uh, this is the Joe Exotic autograph card we did. Now you can see this was signed with a Sharpie. You can see that the Sharpie gives a little bit thicker signature. The issue with that sometimes is that sometimes it smears a little bit more, it rubs off a little easier than the Stadler. Um, but we're gonna, we've got a few cards here we're gonna show you. The other option for some people is a paint pen. Now, sometimes you'll see paint pens on cards that are very dark or aren't, don't have as light of a background. There's nothing wrong with that. The thing with a paint pen, two things to keep in mind. Number one, you have to get it prepped. So you can hear it shake. You've gotta shake it up. You've gotta get it ready to go before you get it signed. The other thing you have to do is you really have to make sure you let it dry because a paint pen will smear horrendously if you get it signed and then immediately put it into a sleeve or a top loader or in a case and stack cards, things like that. So if you were to get multiple cards signed with a paint pen, you'd want to lay them out on a table and let them dry. But we've got some unsigned cards here. We're going to sign a few and just kind of show you. So here's a Stadler. So if you show a Stadler, so that's essentially... Sorry, let me pick it up. So that's what it'll look like. It's pretty thin, and you can see pretty much right away it won't smear off. Now here's a Sharpie. I'll do it on the same card, a little bit higher up. And you can see with that, it's just a little bit thicker. It's at the top. And that one, you can see it does smear. So realistically, if you want to get your cards signed on card, you should buy some of these Stadlers. They're going to look much better. Typically, most of the trading card companies use Stadlers because you can see that smears and it's a lot thicker. Oop. Now with a paint pen, again, you got to get it ready. So it takes a minute to get it ready. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but the tip is yellow. If the tip is yellow, the paint pen is not ready to be used yet. So you got to kind of blot it a bunch. And you can see now the tip is silver. So then if you sign it, now you can see that looks really cool at the top, but again, that'll wipe right off. So you really have to let that dry for a long time if you wanna get that signed with a, with a paint pen. Again, it's gonna look really cool with a paint pen, but you have to make sure you let it dry. The other thing is, is these cards do have a special laminate on them that sometimes makes it hard for autographs to sign on the card. If you've got something that's a paper stock, similar to a lot of base cards, then you can be a lot more flexible with what you sign it with because those are not going to smear as much. The chromium type of cards or the metal type of cards, the prism type of cards, those are going to need to be signed with a little bit better pen and leave more time to dry. The other thing we wanted to talk about just briefly is signing memorabilia. If you want to get your baseball signed, you want to do those in ballpoint pen. You do not want to do those in Sharpie or any kind of marker because they will bleed over time. If you want to get jerseys signed, or jersey numbers, anything like that. You want to get that signed. This is the a ballpoint pen. Just any ballpoint pen will work. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't really matter the color, black or blue. They're both going to be fine. If you get it signed in a Sharpie, it's going to bleed. For jerseys, you want to do typically Sharpies. You really don't want to do those with paint pens. You definitely don't want to do ballpoint pens. And a Stadler is not good for memorabilia because it's going to be too thin. The Stadler is really exclusively for trading cards. Maybe some photos, but even photos... Jerseys, those are pretty much all going to be Sharpies. The one thing you want to do is if you're ever getting a bunch of stuff signed, make sure you trade out your pens because they will dry out. Typically, when we send pens or a package to an athlete to sign, we send four, five, six pens in there to make sure that they can trade out because if they sign too many with one pen, they're going to start looking like junk. So anyway, we just wanted to inform everyone a little bit about getting autographs. To sum it up, cards, you really want to buy Stadlers, get those signed. Most memorabilia you want to do with Sharpies. Baseballs you want to do with a ballpoint pen. We hope this helps everyone. If you ever have questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the post. And uh, we look forward to talking to you again soon.